Guys, welcome. This is the Hebrew Study Guide, RTS Atlanta, for week three. Uh, got a great week. Uh, let's dive right into this material. So, what I want you to do for this week is, one, uh, carefully read Full Love, Chapter 3. Um, he's got a great discussion, a thorough discussion of the material. Uh, read through. Uh, get what you can. Um, then I want you to review um, the vocabulary 1 to 25, 26 to 50, and then we're going to um, learn the uh, new ones. I made YouTube videos, uh, flashcards with the sound, and uh, before I upload this, I'll hyperlink it, and so you can use uh, these hyperlinks uh, when I save it. Uh, I want you sometime in the week to listen to Genesis 1, 1 to 2, 4. Uh, you may only be able to get a uh, follow along a verse or two, but that's our goal. Uh, I want you to get uh, to the place where you can follow along. And what's going to happen eventually, uh, you'll be able to listen to that audio file and you won't even have to translate the words. You'll just hear them and they'll mean uh They'll mean something in your mind. And so that we're going to begin that process. So um, uh, listen through it. Take the practice quiz. Again, this will be hyperlinked. Uh, this will be the exact quiz that we'll take. It'll be a slightly different from the ones we've taken in that. There are going to be some forms on this uh, one. Uh, so uh, when we come to the 25 uh, for today, um, it starts with yashav, uh, to sit. Um, it's the word inhabit, too, uh, used all kinds of places there. So yashav, echad, we know from yom echad, day one, or shema Israel, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai echad, the Lord is one, uh, very important word. Im, if, mut, die, uh, things have a moot point is my um, mnemonic device that may help you. Um, this appears in that text, in the day you eat it, you will surely die. Um, Allah is to uh, go up. This is used of um, the uh, burnt offering is made to go up on the altar. Uh, so important word. Moshe, uh, Moses, Sham, uh, name of eschatological um, Jerusalem is uh, Je Jehovah Shammah. The Lord is there. Uh, Shana, year. You might remember Rosh Hashanah, the, the head of the new year. Uh, comes from this word. David, David. Uh, Shalach is to um, loose or send. A call is eat. I couldn't come up with a great mnemonic device for this one, I just had to memorize it, but it appears a lot of places. Uh, this is another word for with, im, and it comes from the uh, Emmanuel, Immanuel. Uh, with us is El, uh, God. Um, I should have taken this one out. It's kind of a repeat, but this is with. Um, again, we've already learned it. Uh, yada is no. Um, I knew from Greek oida, and oida is I know, so yada, um, very close to that. That was my mnemonic device. Isha, ish is man. Isha doubled, um, middle radical uh, woman. Mitzrayim, Egypt, notice it's a dual. Aim, Mitzrayim. Ain is. Uh, I notice that it's a dual as well. Now, it also means spring or fountain. And so it's kind of strange because this word can mean either I or fountain, spring. Um, the word was uh, the same for them. So um, make sure you get this uh, down, important word. Uh, shame. Uh, we say Shem, uh, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. Uh, God will make a shame uh, for Abraham. 
at the Tower of Babel. They're trying to make a shem for themselves. Uh, uh, very important word uh, in biblical Hebrew. Uh, Eved is the um, a slave. Uh, uh, I don't really have a mnemonic device. Avad in, is the verb, means to uh, work. That may help you. Uh, Shanaim, uh, two, notice this is a dual as well. Aim, um, with the Aim ending. Akhar is behind. Um, um, I don't have a mnemonic device uh, for that. I just have to memorize it. Kara is to cry out or call. Uh, all who call on the name of the Lord will be saved, uh, is this word. Uh, Ella, to Ella is these most famous in the repeated phrase, Ella Toledoth, these are the generations of. And then Yehuda, uh, Judah. So th those are our uh, 25 words. Uh, it's uh, 51 to 75. So we're uh, trying to memorize the top 500. So we've got 75 uh, after uh, today. So now when you memorize these roots, you've probably picked up that most Hebrew words are formed off of three radicals. They're, that's not true of all of them, but the vast majority have three radicals. Well, if you think of that um, as the root, so this is Yalad, um, to give birth, realize as you're learning these words that often that one word will have many other words connected with it. Uh, so Yalad is to give birth, but a Yelid is a boy. And a lot of people will have the mnemonic device, a woman, when she Yalad's a baby, she Yelids, she yells. Um, and so you've got uh, to give birth, and you've got what is given birth. And then... Can you hear that Toledoth is related to this root? Um, so this is a feminine plural word, and it, a lot of times it's translated successors or descendants, but it's really what, what was produced out of, you know, what was just gone over. So these Ella Toledoths are, it usually introduces a fact, and then the Ella Toledoth uh, tells what this fact worked out as uh, in the story. And then uh, Moledet, so Yalad is to give birth. Moledet is descendants, and um, uh, Yalid is a son or a slave born in the household. So if you have Yalad or Yelid, um, you have a bunch of related words also. So when we're learning these triradical roots in Hebrew, just realize off the bat when you every time you learn a word, you're probably really learning five other words uh, that are related by root. And um, someone asked, "Well, how do you know? You know what the names uh, mean?" Well, that's how you know. You memorize the roots, and you realize, "Oh, this name is playing off of." Uh, this root, and you begin to see exactly um, what um, what these names mean. Now, uh, this week we're going to jump into the Hebrew verb system, and there are seven stems in Hebrew. Um, it's a very elegant system: a kol nifal, pl puol, hifil, hofal, hispail. And we're going to learn all seven of those and what they mean, and it's an elegant system. But where we're going to start is with the simplest one, the call. And the call stem, call just means simple. And so that's where we're going to uh, start. We're going to start with the simple uh, one of these seven stems. Um, 
and um, we're going to listen to it. So this hyperlink, if you click on it, uh, Bible Works, when they were in business, had a great audio thing, and you could pull up the charts and click, and it would actually say it to you out loud. Um, I have to tell you, I've used Bible Works for uh, years and years and years, and uh, this summer when they announced they were uh, shutting their doors, it was almost like somebody had died. Um, uh, you know, the, something that useful, and then now it's no longer, but um, they do have this wonderful chart uh, um, for the paradigm, and it has the audio. So if you click on that hyperlink, someone will actually read through. So what in the world is this? Well, this is a call, simple, and it's a call perfect. So there are two, um, you can't really call them tenses in Hebrew, but there's a perfect, which uh, denotes completed action, and then there's imperfect, which is incompleted action. Uh, this is a paradigm word, katal, and um, in um, Hebrew, the paradigm word is the word kill. So in Latin, it's the word love, amo, amas, amat, amamas, amatis, amat. Um, in Greek, it's luo, the word loose. Um, in Hebrew, it's the word kill. Now, I wish we had come up with a better word than kill, but the reason kill is the paradigm word is because it's totally regular. So um, if a word, you know, starts with a guttural or has a repeated consonant somewhere, um, these paradigms will do funny things. So they, they look for a word that was totally regular in how it presented itself. And Katal was the one that uh, people uh, settled on. It does mean kill. Um, so this is perfect. This is completed. And what these are, uh, that will be the person. So third person, third person, second person, second person, first person. And then this is masculine, feminine, masculine, feminine. And this is singular, 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 plural, 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 plural. So in English and German and French and uh, Spanish and Latin, all of those have their... Um, verb chart starting with I, and then it goes to you, and then he, she, or it. Hebrew does that backwards. It starts with he blanked. So katal means he killed. Now, if instead of saying he killed, you wanted to say she killed, uh, what you would do is do katela. Now, this has a little tiny mark here. It's called a metheg. A metheg means a bridle, so you kind of stop your pronunciation. It's helping you see that this is a vocal schwa instead of a closed syllable with an O sound. So it's katela, katela, katal, katela, katalta, you man killed, katalt, you woman killed, katalti. I killed. Uh, these little triangle marks are saying that's the accented syllable. Um, the accent determines uh, how some of these play out. Um, you don't really have to worry about it for now. If you can mimic uh, what the audio file does um, perfectly, you're going to be absolutely right. So, katal, katla, katalta, katalt, katalti. Cut to Lou. Notice you've got the metheg there, the little bridle. Cut to Lou. Cut to Lou. Katal-tem. So this is a... Cut uh, Lou is a common plural. So this is masculine or feminine. Katal-tem. Uh, so this is you all men kill. 
Catalten, you all women kill, and then a common uh, plural, Catalnu. So Catal, Catla, Catalta, Catalt, Catalti, Catalu, Catalten, Catalten, Catalnu. So what you want to do is get where you can say that perfectly. You can just say it in your sleep. Get where you can write it out because all these things in red and even these pointings here, you can take to other verbs and put in this chart and it will tell you, is a man doing the action? Is a woman doing the action? So in our uh, Belarusheet Bara Elohim, Bara, the only thing it can be is a third masculine singular. It isn't... Uh, Bare u or something like that. It can't be they created. It has to be he singular created. So knowing this chart is going to determine a lot in the um, understanding of the language. And that's why we have to really work on memorizing this chart and memorizing this chart very well. Now, uh, just for the sake of completeness, um, what we learned here is the perfect, katal, katla, katalta, etc. The incompleted action does this. And you can see that for the imperfect, they add stuff on the beginning. They have some on the end, but they have stuff on the beginning. So this is yiktol, tiktol, tiktol, tiktoli, ektol, yiktolu, tiktolna. Tiktolu, tiktolna, niktol. The imperfect is incompleted action, so it can mean he was killing, but it also can mean he will be killing. So the imperfect can be either past progressive or future progressive. So we've got the call, that's just a simple action, and then we've got two different types of action, a completed action in the perfect and an incompleted action in the imperfect. And for uh, the sake of completeness, I just put the uh, pronouns he, she, you uh, here just for um, reference. You don't have to have these uh, pronouns with the verb. You can just have the verb. Um, but if you have a pronoun he, she, uh, whatever, that's what these will be. And we've already learned some of them, ani, and we uh, learned the abbreviated nakhnu. Uh, enakhnu is the complete form. And so this will be our complete pronoun chart. This is our perfect chart. This is our imperfect chart. So that's my little flashcard. Maybe, maybe that helps you, maybe not. Um, so uh, look at the Bible Works one, look at the one I did. Uh, Futado's grammar, um, another RTS professor, you, you may find him helpful. His um, textbook is available on Logos, so uh, it can help you. This is his version of the call um, uh, perfect chart. Katal, uh, Katala. Now, he doesn't put the metheg there, and there's a reason he doesn't. Um, I'm sure he says it with the metheg, but there's some uh, rule to know that that's the um, A class vowel and not the O class vowel, but um, I saw that he doesn't have that there. Um, Katalta, Katalt, Katalti. And then he does exactly what I did, um, puts the uh, pronoun, and then he's relating that to some of these endings. So ata is you, man, singular. And he's saying that an abbreviated portion of that is actually what this ending is. And then at, uh, you, uh, woman, singular, is related to katalt. So uh, there, and 
I thought that was uh, brilliant, uh, him showing that. I never really thought of that before. And Ani or uh, uh, Anoki, two versions of I, he's relating to this T ending. So that may help you. Uh, this is the way that he presented it. Katlu, uh, Katal uh, Tem, Katal Ten, Katal Nu. So um, you might find it helpful. Um, if you do, I would get it in Logos. I've, I've found him very helpful on some things. Another RTS professor is Miles Van Pelt. He's done a lot of material. A lot of people use his textbook. And this is his chart, same chart. Um, if I could get it where it doesn't go up so fast. Katal, Katalak, Katal, Katal, Katalti, Katlu, Kataltim, Kataltin, Katalnu. Um, so same thing. He's putting the methags in. So it's Katelu. So that's a vocal uh, schwa there. Uh, but see if that chart um, helps you. And I think think we may be to the end of our um, material. So uh, what you want to do is to read Full Love, to review these three vocabulary things, to listen to Genesis, uh, take the practice quiz, work on memorizing Genesis 1, 1 to 5, and just see how much of that with the material that we've gone over that you can uh, master and uh, really looking for forward to class on Thursday. You guys have been great. Uh, you're working very hard. Uh, we're going to get to the place where we can volume read. And so just keep up the good work and I'll see you then.